Hi everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Today we're going to be making hot fried apple pie. You know, the kind that you would ask for at a fast food restaurant. So I have taken on the challenge of this recipe by request. Laura, this one's for you. So stay tuned everybody and I'll show you how to make this. So I'm going to start by making the apple pie filling. First you'll peel about 10 or 12 apples, enough for about 2 cups worth once they're chopped or sliced. So then I place them into a citric acid bath of just water and a little bit of lemon juice. This just helps to keep the apples from browning while you're waiting to get them sliced. Then we'll take a large pot and put 3 cups of water in it. Now add 1 and 1 third cups of white sugar to the water. Next add 1 generous teaspoon of cinnamon. Then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now turn the heat on high and bring this to a full boil. Then take a separate little bowl and add a third of a cup of cornstarch and just enough water so that it will mix together. You would just use this for thickening it at the very last. Then we add four cups of diced or sliced apples to the mixture. And you will use the diced apples for the little bites um, if you're going to be doing the small ones. If you're doing the larger one, the sliced apples are much better. Once the apples have been added, it only takes less than two minutes. You don't want to overcook the apples when they'll become mush. Then you start to add the cornstarch and water mixture, stirring constantly. Bear in mind that you may not need all of the cornstarch mixture. So just add enough till it looks about this consistency right here. So now for this awesome fried pie dough recipe. This dough has a mild sweet flavor and a flaky texture that fries up well. So in a large mixing bowl, start with 5 cups of all-purpose flour, then add 1 tablespoon of white sugar, so 1 tablespoon of salt. Then 1 cup plus 1 teaspoon of shortening. Now mix that till it becomes crumbly. Then add one whole can of evaporated milk. Next add one beaten egg. Then mix all this together until the dough starts to form. And once it's formed a soft dough like this, then stop mixing and pull it out and just knead gently by hand, only a little bit. This dough should be a little bit moist. Then you take it and store it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Then you can remove it from the fridge and only use about half of it. Put the rest back in the fridge while you're working on it. Then you take and roll the dough out really thin and cut it into whatever shapes you desire. Take and put the filling in each of the dough pieces and crimp them together. Now when you make little bites like this, you put little thicker filling made from the little diced apples. These are a little bit harder to get a good seal because they are so small. The hot apple pie size would be around 6 by 6 inches. These are easier to get a seal. And with these ones, I make the filling not quite so thick. Also, the apples are larger use apple slices for this one. So now a little secret. Make sure that your dough is cold and rolled really thin and your filling should be room temperature and starting to set pretty good. And you need to work quite quickly. You fold your dough over once the filling is in there and crimp the edges as quick as you can and have your oil preheated ready to go. I use canola oil and preheat it to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is where it's really important to make sure you got a good seal, that you trim them properly and seal them properly so that they don't leak in the oil. You don't want to have um, the hot oil splattering and causing a burn or a fire. So make sure they're sealed good. Now when you go to fry these, the little bites will fry up a lot faster, of course, because they're smaller. They can be put in a little hotter oil than the larger ones, maybe 375 degrees, but watch your oil closely, it heats very quick. 
Once they're golden, remove them and dip them in white sugar. To use a wire basket like this helps because you can do more than one at a time and it's easier for removing them. And if you have a deep fryer, it may be safer just to use that. Now it's pretty much the same thing with the larger ones. You'll need to put them on a spatula so that you can lift them without them falling apart or leaking. And you may need to hold them under the oil with a fork like this so that it browns evenly. But your oil will need to be around 365 degrees for these ones so that they cook through properly. And once again, coat them with some white sugar. Now then, this homemade version of fried hot apple pie has the perfect blend of flavors and is well worth the effort if you remember the key points as I mentioned in the process. You will be able to delight your family and friends. So until next time, happy baking. And thanks so much for watching.